Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. In this video series, we're going to be going over how to take the mesh models that we learned to create in our last course and apply paint or texture to them using Blender's 3D painting. Now before we get started, there are a few terms that uh, I just want to go over and make sure that we have. You'll see them on the screen in just a second, but uh, they are UV mapping which is just the process of projecting a 2D image to a 3D model surface for texture mapping. Texture mapping, which is the process of wrapping a 2D surface called a texture map around a 3D object. A texture, which is just an image file or computer generated pattern. And then a UV map, which is just what the 3D object looks like when it's completely laid out flat in 2D space. So those are the terms and stuff that I'm going to be using throughout the course. I just wanted to make sure everybody had a solid understanding of that. So now let's take a look at the workspaces that we're going to be working in throughout this course. We're already familiar with the layout workspace and the modeling workspace. But once you've done your work in the modeling workspace, when you're ready to go apply texture, you're going to need both the UV editing workspace and the texture paint workspace. But let's go ahead and just talk about one at a time. So, the UV editing workspace. It's been split down the middle, and essentially what we have is on the right, we have our standard 3D viewport, which we're used to. On the left, though, we have the UV editor. And this is a nice little editor for representing our 3D objects in 2D space. Now, you can see that Blender has gone ahead and tried to unwrap this cube here for us, and it's actually given us a pretty decent unwrapping of that but we don't have to accept it, and its unwraps might not always be perfect. For example, if we were to, let's say, hide this cube and bring in a monkey head, and then go into edit mode in the UV editing workspace, what you would see is that, yeah, it has unwrapped it for us, but this isn't really a great UV map. There's a lot of things that can be done to this to make it look better, and it's stretched pretty far. Now, if you don't know what that means, don't worry. We're going to cover that in a future video. But just know that Blender is going to try to unwrap it for you, but it's not always going to be perfect. So let's go ahead and head back to our cube here and then take a look at the texture paint workspace. Now, this workspace is essentially the same thing. It is a, a 3D viewport, and then we have an image editor. Now, in the past, the UV editor and the image editor were the exact same editor. It appears in 2.8 that they have now split that apart. And we'll talk more about this editor in a future video. But for now, just know that the texture paint workspace and the UV editing workspace are basically the same thing, uh, with the exception of instead of being in edit mode in the 3D viewport, you are in texture paint mode in the 3D viewport, which will allow you to paint directly onto the 3D model itself once we've set it up properly throughout this course. So those are basically the two workspaces that you need to use in order to apply textures to your 3D models. They're basically the same, they're pretty easy to get to work with, and by the time you're done with this course, you should know everything you need to know about the UV editing and texture paint workspaces so that you can paint the models that you create. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this course. Thanks for watching.